Hey, what's up everyone? It's your man DJ Roxy coming to you with another tutorial video. In today's tutorial video, we have this beautiful Akai MPC60 Mac 2 that we're doing some upgrades to. Now, as you can see, um, this MPC60 is in a fantastic condition. Um, and we're gonna be doing some upgrades on this baby. So first thing I'd like to start out by saying uh, thank you to all the subscribers. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. So the first thing you want to do is remove one, two, three screws from the side. Then you have one, two, three screws on the other side. And in the back of the unit, you got one, two, three, four, five screws that need to be removed. When you flip the unit, you have one, two, three, four screws that need to be removed. Remove these screws so we can get the top part off. All right guys, so once you remove the screws that I told you about, then the top part of the MPC should be able to move on the side. Carefully put it like this, Make sure that you don't have, that you're not pulling any of the ribbon cables or the wires. All right guys, so one of the upgrades that we're doing today, we are changing our 3.10 operation system to a 3.15, if you can see that. So I already did the upgrade on my drive, but I have to remove everything in order to get to that chip. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove this ribbon cable from my SCSI interface. Put that on the side. Next, remove this ribbon cable. Then to the bottom, you have another ribbon cable. Remove these power wires. Please try not pulling anything too hard. You don't want to break anything. All right guys, so on the MPC60 Mac 1 and Mac 2, which this is the Mac 2, there are four chips. Uh, on the MPC3000, there's only two chips that need to be removed. Now, you gotta be careful when you're putting in these chips. You gotta put them in the direct order. Um, if not, your MPC will not come on. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, just in that direct order. Um, so my chips are right here on the side. And I'm gonna pull each one of these, starting with number one. Now we're gonna get chip one and put it in there. Carefully put this in. Make sure that it's lined up properly because if any of the connectors are not in, you will not get no contact um, and the MPC will not come on. So just take your time with this. All right guys, so now um, my four chips are in. Um, just make sure that each uh, contact is inside uh, the hole. If anything is out, um, just pull it back out, straighten it, and put it in in the proper uh, manner. So now it's just to reassemble this back together. The first thing you want to do is connect the ribbon cable next to connect the top ribbon cable. process is to connect this cable right here and the other one to the bottom. And we pull back this ribbon cable inside here. And voila. Alright guys so our next step is to 
power this baby up. You can close it up. You don't have to screw it in as yet. Just make sure that everything works before you screw it in. Um, I'm gonna power this baby up and make sure that it works. All right, so we just hope you guys can see that. All right, guys. So there you have it. How to change the operation system on your Akai MPC60 Mac 2. I hope this tutorial video was a help to any of you guys. And like I said before, um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so now for more tutorial videos. If you um, need any extra system in helping with uh, the issues on your MPC60 or your MPC3000, um, please comment below and I will do my best to try to help you guys out. I hope you guys uh, have a great day. It's your man DJ Roxy. Until next time.